Shalom, Israel. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who teach and rule well at Great Millstone, and peace and salutations and peace and mercy to the prophets, the hopeful elect, the 144,000, and to the men and women of the 12 lost tribes of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Shalom. Back with another lesson. Um, I'll title this one uh, War with Amalek. You know. You know, the Lord, the Lord said he was going to war with Amalek. And who is Amalek? Amalek is those small hats over there claiming to be the Jews. The 1948ers. Who they call uh, the Jew, the so-called Jewish people. You see? And over there in that land right now, <laughs> it's war. You know, the, the, the IDF, the, the Israeli de Defense Force, the, you know, they've been uh, uh, preparing and doing all these different military drills, you know, uh, and warn against Palestine, the Palestinians on that Gaza Strip with that Hamas and, and, and Iran too. Ro rockets have been firing. And yesterday, uh, they uh, they had the, the flag day uh, over there in Jerusalem. I'm just gonna I'm gonna read this quick. I'm going to go all the way into it. I'm just going to read a couple, a uh, quick paragraph real quick. But it says, yeah, yesterday they had the the, um, the the flag day over there in Jerusalem. But it says, Israel, Israel's Jerusalem day sparks tension as thousands march through the old city, Muslim court, quarter. See, and, uh, Jerusalem is divided into four parts. Um, you have you have the uh, 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 the Jewish, the unorthodox Jews. You have their 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 court quarter, and then you have the Muslims quarter, and the Armen I think it's the Armenian quarter, and then the Christian quarter is divided into four parts. See. And Amalek, you know, um, is pretty much in, is in control of that uh, of uh, of that Israel, you know, and um, and 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 they're not they're not the real people of that land. Those small hats, those nineteen forty eighters, they're they're not. They're of the they're of that line, out of Esau Edom. They come out of that line of Esau Edom, them Amalekites, and um, you know they they tried to they warred against Israel, you know, coming out the uh, wilderness, you know, with our forefathers, with Moses and Joshua and Aaron, but um, it says. Uh, It says Hamas fired rockets into Israel during last year's march, sparking an 11 day war between Israel and the Gaza based group. See that Hamas, the, they, 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 they know that those are not the real people of that land. They're not of the 12 lost tribes of Israel. They're not Yahweh by Shem Shai's people. Those small hats, but it says, I'll read, uh, it says Jerusalem. This is, uh, the wall street journal. I'm reading out of, it says Jerusalem. 
tens of thousands of small hats, 1948ers, nationalists marched through Jerusalem on Sunday, including through the old city's Muslims quarter. You see, those small hats, <laughs> they, they, they marched right through those uh, the Muslim part of the city, and, and it sparked an uproar. As tensions flared over the contested city and left Israelis Israeli security forces uh, on high alert for violence, and uh, that that uh, that Palestine reporter lady she just got killed. You see, over there in that in that in that Israel. So it, it's beefing up. It's, it, the, the tension is boiling right now. There's just no, absolutely no way that could be the, the, the kingdom of heaven. Because the Lord said clearly, you know, when he comes back, he's going to sit on his throne and starting with David under him and then the disciples and then the 144,000 of men. Are, you know, will judge Israel and it'll be, the world will be at peace. There's absolutely no peace in that land. So there, it's impossible. It's impossible for them to be the real people. It's impossible. As tensions flared over the contested city and left Israeli security forces on high alert for violence. Is, Israeli small hatters waved flags and sang nationalist songs, with some using anti Arab, Arab slogans, Arabics, as they walked from the largely small hat western part of the city to the largely Palestinian eastern part of the um, Comorant Jerusalem Day, which marks when is Israel conquered East Jerusalem from Jordan in 1967. You see? So I'm going to get to uh, a quick, I'm going to get a couple quick scripts and I'm going to close it out. I don't want to make this too long. <clears throat> but we're going to go to Exodus we're going to go to Exodus uh, 17, and we'll start at, um, and this is and this is when, uh, you know, Moses, uh, when we came, uh, when the Hebrew Israelites, when we came out of uh, 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 Egypt and were under slavery, and we were in bondage in the first Egypt, and then we, we, the Lord delivered us out of Pharaoh's hand and brought us into the wilderness. And this is where the church, you know, basically, uh, uh, you know, the law, statutes, and commandments. We always had the law, statutes, and commandments, but this is where it got written in stone in the wilderness. This is where the church started. Okay. You know, this it started in the wilderness. You know, the Lord put those uh, uh, commandments on stone and gave Moses the law, statutes, and commandments to, to us, to Israel. He didn't give it to nobody else. And going through the wilderness, these other uh, nations, you know, Edom and Amalek and Ammon and, you know, Elam, you know, they, they've uh, since back, way back then, all the way till now, it's been war uh, against Israel. And that's why the Lord said, you know, uh, uh, no city made peace with the children of Israel. No city made peace with the children of Israel. Not one. They're going to pay for that, though. But I'm going to go to uh, 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 Exodus 17. We'll go 17 and 6 because, you know, we came out of uh, the what we came. We crossed that uh, the uh, the sea, uh, the Red Sea came through there and then we went to the wilderness and we were in there for 40 years. But, you know, once we got out of, you know, crossed that sea to the, from the flood, from leaving Egypt and going and then coming into the wilderness, you know, food and water and, you know, 
uh, uh, just like Jake, Jake start complaining and, 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 you know, and, uh, get being ungrateful and start questioning. And, you know, um, once we got into the wilderness, what the Lord was going to do, how we were going to eat and stuff. But the Lord, you know, every time they, they questioned him, he answered, he, he rained manna from bread. He gave us quail, uh, uh, um, you know, um, Moses hit the smoke, the rock and water came out, you know, miracles, wonders. And the Yahweh Shem Yahweh is going to do one. He's going to do even greater wonders in this second uh, exodus out of Egypt here in America, Babylon and across the world. He's going to do wonders. But we're going to go to uh, uh, Exodus 17 and 6 and it reads, Behold, I will stand before thee there upon the rock in Horeb, and thou shalt smite the rock, and there shall come water out, out of it, that the people may drink. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel. See, you know, we we're thirsty, you know, needed something to drink, and the Lord, you know, provided light for us in those chariots in the sky, those with so those clouds, you know, um, uh, gave us light and water. He gave, he provided everything we need, clothing, all that. It says seven. And he called the name of the place Massah and Mirban because of the chitting of the children of Israel and because they tempted Yahweh by Shemal Shai saying, is this the Lord among us or not? Is he, is, is the Lord among us or not? You know, we don't have no food. We don't, we don't have no, you know, we're limited supplies right now on things. So they questioned the Lord, but the Lord delivered. It says eight, then came Amalek. Amalek, those 1948ers, those small hats. And fought with Israel in Rephidim nine. And Moses said unto Joshua, Choose us out men and go out, fight, fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on top of the hill with the rod of Yahweh by Shemel Shai in my hand. You see? And if we go to, uh, I'm going to go over real quick. I'm going to go over real quick and uh, I'm going to just breeze through. Real quick, because these are the enemies of of the Lord. These are the enemies of, of, of Israel, of the 12 lost tribes of Israel. We're going to go to uh, Psalm, Psalm 83, and it reads, it says, Keep not thou silence, O Yahweh. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Yahweh, by Shem Shai. For lo, thine enemies, for lo, thine enemies make atonement and they that hate thee have lifted up the head three they have taken crafty counsel against thy people it consulted against thy against thy hidden ones and that's what they've been doing since the beginning since this time they've came together all these different nations all of them you know all of them you know at the sitting sitting at the UN meetings sitting at the EU meetings you know, uh, uh, these government officials here in, uh, 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 in America, you know, these supremacists, you know, different, you know, groups, they, 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 they came together and tried to destroy you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native American Indians. They've came up with every single plot, the prison systems, you know, putting drugs in your communities, you know, giving you the worst jobs and, you know, a first one to get fired and sending your kids to the worst schools and putting you in the worst conditions and taxing you. They've came up with every single possible thing that they can do. Now, with this next thing, and they've even put a, a bio, uh, a bio, bio, what do you call it? Bio, a bio attack, you know, different diseases, you know, that they're going to try to do to destroy you Jake's. You know, still to this day. So, uh, 
it says, uh, we'll hop down. It says, five, they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Six, the tabernacles of Edom and, Ish and the Ishmaelites of Moab, the Hagarines. Seven, Jebal and, and Ammon and Amalek and the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. Assur also is joined with them. They have they have hope in the children of Lot. Selah. See? See? Those are the those and if you read down more, it give you more some more uh, enemies. Uh, uh the Hamites, you know, uh, Egyptians, they they they're all Ethiopians, they're all the Chinese, the Japanese, Ammon and, and Moab, they're all they've all came together to try to destroy. Uh, the children of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And then you see to still to this day, you go in certain places, they don't like you. So it says, uh, 10. So Joshua did as Moses had said to him, a commandment. See, Moses told Joshua, go fight with uh, 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 Amalek. Go raise some men up and go, go fight with them. So Joshua did as Moses said, Moses had said to him and fought with him and fought with Amalek and Moses, Aaron and her went up to the top of the hill. It says 11 and it came to pass when Moses held up his hand that Israel prevailed, you see, and when and when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. And then it says, um, we'll go to the hop over. 13 and Joshua dis, discomfited discomfited um Amalek and his pe and his people with the edge of the sword so Josh you know Israel you know w we whooped on uh Amalek you see 14 this is the point right here and the Lord said unto Moses write this for a memorial in a book and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. For I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. 15. And Moses built an altar and called the name of it Yahweh by Shem Shai. 16. For he said, because Yahweh by Shem Shai has sworn that Salakia, for he said, because Yahweh has sworn that Yahweh by Shemal Shai will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. You see? So, war with Amalek is, is, is in, in, inevitable. And he's going to come back. Yahweh by Shemal Shai is coming back. And he's going to have war with Amalek again. And with, and, and with all the nations. You see, let's go to, uh, um, let's go over real quick. We're going to hop over here real quick. Let's go to uh, Exodus 15 and 3. And it reads, for, for, it says, Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord is, Yahweh is a man of war. And Yahweh is his name. You see? Yahweh and Yahweh Shem Shai are men, they're men of war. You know, war is inevitable. They, you know, people want to, oh, well, um, let's pray that the war, you know, this doesn't escalate. This, the, the war is going to happen. War WW3 is going to happen without a question. That's a fact. That's a fact. The Lord is a man of war and he wants war. All these militaries are gearing up for World War III and they will be gathered over there in that valley of, deci of, of decision, Jehoshaphat. Okay? War is coming. War is coming. All types of wars. Civil war, food wars, uh, uh, military war, uh, I mean, you you got every single type of war that's coming. Gun wars, 
you know, fighting wars. You got all type of war that's coming on all sides. Um, okay, let me, let me, uh, let me, I'm going to close out with this. Um, let's see. War is inevitable. And that land over there is just a matter of time. The Lord's going to, the Lord's going to, Yahweh Shemuel Shai is going to destroy the land of Israel. But it's going to be built back up once, you know, he comes back and it's all said and done. And we're going to get you other nations to build it up. Build it right back up. So let's go over to. Um, let's see. And, and this is and this is the kingdom right here. And this is the kingdom. It says. Um. This is New Jerusalem that's coming. Of the 12 lost tribes of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. This this is the New Jerusalem. See? It's matter of fact, let me let me let me go here and then I'll I'll end off with that. We'll go to Ezekiel. We'll go to Ezekiel 38. Ezekiel 38. It says Ezekiel 38 and we'll go 18. Ezekiel 38 and 18, it says, and it shall come to pass at that same time when Gog, the, these, the Russians, see the Lord's going to use Russia to spearhead this. They're, they're going to be the uh, 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 ultimate factor, you know, um, at, out of these militaries to come against Israel and, and America and, you know, these, these mighty countries, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to be the backbone to these other weaker nations, a guard unto the other nations, roughly paraphrasing it. And it shall come to pass at that same time when Gog shall come against the land of Israel. Seth Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, that my fury shall come up in my face. 19. For in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath have I spoken. Surely in that day there shall be a great shakening in the land of Israel. You see? That is that war the war is coming to that Israel. It's coming World War Three. But the Lord is going to, it's going to be nukes that just blow that, that, that place to pieces because it's nothing but, number one, those aren't the real people over there in that land. All that divided in the four cities and, you know, uh, uh, one part Muslim, one part Christian, one part Armenian and one part Orthodox, small hats, you know, that, that's not their land over there. And they're doing all manner of wickedness going on over there. You know, they got all type of uh, 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 gay parades in the, in the Holy Land, just def just completely gone, uh, you know, uh, defiling the, the, the land of Israel over there. The Lord's totally against that. Then you're sitting up there praying to the uh, 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 a wall, you know, you didn't set up uh, 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 on a temple mount, you know, just just totally, you know, just spit on and humiliated the Lord's uh, holy place. He's going to destroy that place over there in Israel. It says, we'll hop down to 23. It says, thus will I magnify myself and sanctify myself. See, the Lord's going to, they're going to know that the Lord, Yahweh, the God, the power of the Hebrew Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, the Lord said He's going to He's going to uh, uh, magnify Himself and sanctify sanctify Thyself. They're going to know these other nations are. They're going to know that the Lord is not He's not nothing to play with, man. He's a man of war, and I will be known in the eyes of many nations, and they shall know. That I am the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You see? And then I'm going to just close out with this. But this this is the new. This is going to be the new city. The new Jerusalem. 
Not that right now, because that, that's not it. That's not it. Jerusalem will be built back up. It will be. It's going to be uh, the kingdom, the kingdom of all kingdoms, the heaven on earth, right, right there in Jerusalem, in Israel. And it's going to be. It's going to be the most beautiful place in the whole entire universe. It's going to be beautiful. We will rule in rulership, and you other nations are going to. You got. You're going to serve us. See, but it says, it says, um, 11, we'll go to Revelation 21 and 11, new Jerusalem, having the glory of Yahweh by Shai, and her light was like unto a stone, most precious, even like a Jasper stone, clear as crystal. Whew. You see, having the glory of Yahweh by Shai. And her light was like unto a stone, most precious, even like a jasper, stone, clear as crystal, sparkling, glorious. You can't even put the words together because you've never seen something like this. Man has never seen nothing like how Israel is going to be. You can take the riches of the riches out of you Edomites and any one of you uh, other nations. You you uh, uh, Elamites, the Saudi Arabians, your richest person. You know you you uh, 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 um, what do you Rock of, uh, uh, Rockefellers and uh, you know Rothschilds. You can take uh, take the riches, whatever they got, and we, it's gonna. What Yahweh Bashim al has promised to Israel, what we got is going to make it look like a straight ghetto. A third world country is going to make it look like nothing. Poop on a stick. On what this, or what this kingdom of heaven is going to look like. Twelve. And had a wall great and high and, and had twelve gates, twelve gates. And at the and at the gates, twelve angels. See, you're not gonna be able to touch Israel, man. This this new Jerusalem that's coming, the, the twelve lost tribes of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Our kingdom is not gonna. You will not be able to. You you have no. It's gonna be spitballs to a battleship. Twelve angels at the gates, man. And if you get out of line, anybody try to raise up and try to come against <laughs> this city, these angels are going to, sm they're going to smash you. They're going to turn you to dust. The Alahayim, call Halal, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And at the gates, 12 angels and name and, and names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 angels tribes of the children of Israel see and over there in, in uh, the, that um, the small hats over there in Israel right now there is just one uh, 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 supposedly be tribe claiming to be the one people of the Lord it's not that's not right no there's tw there's 12 tribes see 12 not one. 12 and you small hatters you're of Amalek you're of, you're of the tree of uh of uh Edom matter of fact let me get that let me close out with that let me close out with that because this is your ultimate destiny right here you 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 so-called Israelis you know uh, uh, uh you six-pack Joes over here you know uh, uh, uh all you <laughs> you you so Europeans you uh, Sweden's and uh, you know uh, <laughs> Britons and England, you know all you, you Dutch, you know uh, uh, Romans, Germans, you know this is your destiny right here, man. This is your this is pretty much it for you. So let me get. Uh, Let me just close out with this, matter of fact. 
What we got? What we got? What we got? Uh, Salakia. Oh, yeah. I think we right. Oh, here we go. Salakia. Um, we'll go. We'll just go. Uh, Obadiah one and one and nine, and it reads. Obadiah one and nine, and it reads. And thy mighty men, O Teman, you Germans, shall be dismayed to the end that everyone, including Amalek, because <laughs> you're of this tree, you Germans, you small hats, that everyone of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. 10, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame, shame. Shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. There's no salvation for you. There's no salvation for you. You're going into slavery. You small hats, uh, 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 just the whole mount of Esau, and you other nations, Elam, Ammon, you, you Arabics, you Japanese, Chinese, you Koreans, all of you. You're going, you will be going into uh, slavery, and you will serve, you serve the children of Israel. You so called you're gonna they're going to serve the so called Negroes, the so called Latinos, and Native American Indians in the kingdom of heaven, and nobody will stop this, and this will be forever for eternity. You see, so that's what's coming, but there's war coming, and it's inevitable. It's inevitable. No matter how many how much you other nations pray and try to wish and hope and try to talk it out. The WW3 is coming. That land of Israel is going to be destroyed and built back up for the children of Israel. You other nations are going to build it up. This place, America, Babylon, is going to be blown to smithereens and then it will never, ever, ever, ever be inhabited ever again. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Yahweh But war on Amalek, you know, DTA. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Yahweh but I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, Shalom, Israel.